Hi guys, it's Lynn with Katie Lynn's Creations. I'm outside today for just a minute to show you my beautiful front yard of leaves for the fall. They are falling everywhere. That means yard work. No time for embroidery next weekend. Boo hoo. Oh well, life goes on. And then there's Miss Sandy. Say hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hi. Well, if you would subscribe to my channel, I would much appreciate it. Like any of the content. And if there's something that you would like to learn or uh, figure out or whatever, however I can help you and you help me. Because if you ask questions, that makes me dig in and learn. So we are going to talk about a couple of things that I learned. Um, so let's go in to the house and see what I learned today. Oops, sorry for the lights. Okay. So let me flip you around here. Oops. So what I'm going to get out of this a little bit. So what I learned today is that this button there, that button right there, we'll pull this up. And I am in manual, manual, hit this button and oops, <laughs> sorry. Got to put my needle back into place, into place. Okay. So got to make sure your needle, cause I was just messing with it earlier. So we're going to go to needle five. So then it will manually change it for you, which I was using this. So that changes it manually. And so, and that's when you're in manual. Okay, now, if you've broken some stitches and for some reason you need to back up to that spot, there's this button right here with the little arrow right there. If you will hit that, Oh, hang on, gotta exit out of that. This one, right here. If you hit this, you can come up here, you can go forward or backwards. So say you have to pick a few stitches out because maybe the tension got off or something like that and then you need to go back to that spot. You can, and I have it on low, so it's it'll go lower. So if you wanna go backwards, you just hit back and it goes back a few stitches and if you want to go faster because you got lots of stitches whatever that is your option for going forwards and backwards when you need to find a spot instead of using this one you know you can type in the 20 stitches or 30 stitches and or to go back one color or go forward one color so um I'm definitely still learning, guys. So, it was a quick video, and I hope this helps you. I'm learning and sharing as we go. So, I hope you have a blessed evening, and have a good start to your week. And if you like what you see, subscribe. It helps me out. And like if you like the content. Be blessed. Bye.